In the early days of Phoenix, Vic Haney was a successful businessman and one of the first volunteer firefighters. Vic joined Pioneer Hose Company One in 1887, less than two years after the founding of the Phoenix Fire Department. He was an active firefighter and competitor in fire department athletic events and firefighter musters, competing against fire departments all over Arizona. In 1894, Vic helped the Phoenix Fire Department realize its vision of the first purpose-built Phoenix Fire Station at First Street in Jefferson. By 1920, the Phoenix Fire Department had transitioned from a volunteer to a full-time paid fire department. Vic's education, business background, hard work, and financial expertise contributed greatly to building the Phoenix Fire Department. In 1928, the Phoenix Fire Department Founders Plaque was dedicated. Vic's name is on the plaque along with 321 others who founded the Phoenix Fire Department. Recently, his great-grandchildren, Katie and Vic, visited historic Phoenix Fire Station 8 to share their memories. Welcome to historic Fire Station 8. First thing, you have a couple of photographs there. The family. So I got these. Vic is, is right here. And this is in rough shape. And this is Vic up there. Yeah, the Pioneers, Pioneer Hose Company. And that looks like it could have been at our very first fire station. And these guys mostly, uh, including the Kenny, set the scene. Uh, did some incredible things, even with their business acumen to turn the fire department into what it is today. This is the kitchen. In our 1942 firehouse. So the kitchen is where all problems of the world are solved by firefighters sitting at the table. So this is what our day room, the Shrike room would have looked like a little bit. Um, have a TV, have a radio. Uh, so when we didn't have a call, no, that's what we'd be doing. It's good. These are some books here that has to do with our history. Well, no matter who wrote them, some of our firefighters have written some. Some of them go way back to 1908 and 1954 that captured um, some of our history. The communications package here kind of leads us to what we call the poop deck, uh, a nod to the old uh, naval term, communication center, and we still have those today. And then, of course, on this wall is our remembrance wall of uh, members that we've lost in the line of duty or work-related in the Phoenix Fire Department, which is pretty amazing just to have that view in the city of Phoenix. Uh, we have here a display of a combination of are two founding bagpipers and pipe makers, some various uniforms, uh, like different years. You can see the Eisenhower jacket there. Uh, you can see the, um, the newer Otter Guard uniform. And off to our uh, left over here, we have what has become kind of a tribute to our military veterans that have served. This is what used to be the dorm where the firefighters would sleep. Here is the oldest thing of this size that we have in our fire station. This is a locker from the very original central station in 1894. And adorning it right here is a picture of the player in your host team. So there is your ancestor. This is the bay what regular people call a garage. Big enough to have a fire truck back in the day anyway. Right now, the little fire truck we have was done in the late 80s, early 90s by one of our engineer of engineers, Don Mills. We go off of there, Christian Zonico, our second female to die in the line of duty. And uh, so her last locker uh, resides with us now. Breathing apparatus from over the years, not all of them, but uh, a good start for a collection. So this lives with us here. 
This is a 1941 Chevy Hummer. Chevy was uh, getting into the business around World War II to uh, have fire trucks. So we tried to find the oldest fire truck heat in the oldest gear you had in firefighters get together. But, so the musters that happened back then are still called musters and we still do them. And this is the oldest fire truck we've been able to keep running and, and have. So uh, we're, we're happy to have it. This is a 1978 Dodge on it. Back in the day, our oh. cities and counties would buy bulk vehicles. It's always economical that way. So this was made as a police package. As you can tell, it looks like a police car. Well, back in the day, PD was tan and white. And they said, yeah, paint yours red. And we would do some other things to it. Like, you know, yeah, we don't need a shotgun rat or anything like that. So this this is exactly like what a mechanic would have been helping people. It's not unusual to uh, pull this up to a fire scene and then start trying to draft water out of the ditches of the old Salt River Valley. Thanks for coming by. It's been really great to have you here. And Tim, thank you very much. Very informative. And I wanted to ask, how do you fund all this? Well, it's protected as uh, being on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, but it doesn't mean there's any funding for it. So the city helps take care of the outside and some of the facility stuff there. Uh, but everything else is, is on us to do fundraising for. So the Phoenix Fire Foundation is a nonprofit that you can say donate to, it to help us get virtually everything you see inside, the maintenance of the vehicles, and frames, archival paper, if everything else goes for them. I mean, we've got the t-shirts inside that, that sell as donations to accomplish that. And so, uh, and the department helps where they can. So it is run by the department, but we do this on our own time or as an extension of the job.